So why do so many golfers leave their ball in the bunker from this challenging uphill lie? Well, I'll be happy to answer that question a little later today on Winning Golf. It's in the hole! Winning Golf, that's what we play. Unbelievable shot, he's being mobbed by the contestants. I'm near the green again, that's where the action all begins. Golf is brought to you by SAP. When you run live, you run simple with SAP. Well, hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today from the spectacular White Manor Country Club, Winning Golf is thrilled to welcome a very talented team of contestants sponsored by SAP America, Winning Golf's 2017 title sponsor. And serving as our host for the first time is my new friend, Rob Francis. Rob, hey, welcome to Winning Golf. Thank you. Hey. Rob, we have a beautiful golf course here at White Manor, a very talented group of contestants. I have a lot of prizes to give away. Rob, to me, that is a formula for lots of fun and plenty of winning golf. We are very excited to be here. We've got a fantastic group of uh, SAP customers, partners, as well as employees. And uh, we're hopeful to you know, make you proud and uh, learn a little <laughs> bit about the game and win some cash and prizes. So that sounds like a fantastic formula for some winning golf. Well, thank you so much, Rob. Well, let me ask you a quick question. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah. Awesome. Well, our first event is called the SAP Run Simple Challenge. And Bill Powell and Larry Kumar are our contestants for a putting contest. Now, guys, this is a team event, all right? All right. You have a 30-foot putt. The goal is to get down in two. All right, with me so far? With me. Now, here's the teamwork. One of you will putt first. The other player will try to close the deal. If together you can get down in two, you'll both win a prize, and a very nice prize. How about a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel? Sound awesome? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All, right. All right. Now, one quick question. Who's going to putt first? Uh, I think I'll do it. Larry? Larry. Larry's got the honors. All right, Larry. Go for it. So, so Larry, my question is, tough five-footer or a tap-in? What are you going to give him? Oh, tap-in. I love your spirit. Let's get ready to putt. All right. Larry Kumore is ready. Larry will putt first from 30 feet and hopefully leave his partner Bill Powell with a nice easy tap in. And here it comes. It's a beautiful stroke. It's a nice setup. It's rolling back towards the hole. And look at this effort by Larry Kumore. He's got a chance to make it right on the doorstep. And what a partner he is. Well, Bill has one half inch for a tap in. And here we go. He's got a good read and a nice stroke. And we got a winner. Awesome. Our SAP team wins the prize. Well, Larry and Bill, congratulations. That was some great teamwork. And now both of you will get to enjoy some delicious food at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Hey, hope you guys had a good time. Absolutely. Best time of my life. <laughs> had a terrific time. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Well, that was certainly... Well, that was certainly a fun way to start our show. And the great news is we still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the hidden jewels in Pennsylvania, the gorgeous... White Manor Country Club. White Manor Country Club, a private club recently purchased by Concert Golf, opened its doors in 1962 when it purchased 170 acres of magnificent land from the Evans family. This historic property with numerous striking views was originally owned by William Penn. Today, White Manor is where you will find one of the country's most beautiful and challenging golf courses. In fact, Golf Week magazine recently voted it the number three ranked modern design golf course and number 14 overall course in Pennsylvania. Redesigned and renovated in 2003 by renowned and award-winning designer Bobby Weed, this 18-hole jewel is scenic, playable, and always in pristine condition. The course, which stretches to 7,000 yards from the tips, offers five sets of tees, which makes it player-friendly for golfers of all levels. Along with the first-class golf course, the Manor features state-of-the-art practice facilities. And we have a phenomenal practice facilities here at White Manor. We have a driving range that's two-teed. We also have an academy that's sheltered in case it rains one day. They can practice on the two putting greens we have. We have a large one, we also have a small one that's next to one tee. We also have a phenomenal short game area that you can hit anywhere from 20 yard shots to 100 yard shots. Really, it replicates the course. There are a lot of opportunity to really get better. As for playing the course, in addition to electric carts, the golf operation offers an enjoyable walking experience by providing a vibrant caddy program. The golf pro shop is well stocked and offers the latest and greatest in fashion and equipment. 
The golf staff provides first-class service as well as top-level instructional programs for both adults and juniors. Of course, White Manor's amenities don't stop with the golf course. The club also offers a well-maintained and heated pool, a two-mile walking trail, as well as outstanding tennis facilities including six fast-dry hard shoe courts and a fully equipped fitness center to keep you in top form. Last but certainly not least is the beautiful clubhouse. This newly renovated facility is the ideal setting for any social or corporate event. Whether it's a business meeting for 10 or 200, or a social party for 25 to 250, the White Manor staff will be happy to accommodate you. Staff with a professional event planner and an award-winning chef, your events will be planned flawlessly and the menu will be executed to perfection. For the membership, a wide variety of dining experiences are provided, along with several dining venues. Whether it's a fine dining experience, wedding, golf outing, holiday party, or corporate meeting, you can trust the White Manor staff to do it right every time. White Manor welcomes any prospective member wishing to join a first class club, as well as experience the diversity and community feeling of its present membership. With an average age in the mid 40s, White Manor offers a perfect environment for casual family life. If interested in membership or planning a once in a lifetime event, please call 610-647-1070 or check out the web at whitemanorcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Jeff Foy, Bill Powell, Larry Kumor, John Chiavelli, Rob Francis, Bill Kilgore, Marge Mislinski, Kathy Bird, and Shapiro. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Well, today's Foot Joy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to show you what to do when facing an uphill lie in the greenside bunker. Part two, John Chiavelli is going to put my bunker tip into action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit a bunker shot from this uphill lie. And listen to this, guys. The winner, or close to the hole, will win a brand new pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. How's that sound? What a great prize. Let's talk about the uphill lie in a bunker. The first thing I want to talk about is my club face. If I'm in a flat lie, I always take my club face and open it wide almost so the face is looking up at the sky. But because this lie adds a lot of loft to my shot, I'm only gonna open my club face slightly this time, not wide open like usual. The lie is causing me to do that, okay? The second thing I'm gonna do is play the ball just in front of middle in my stance, okay? So this will be forward, this will be back. We're gonna play it just in front of middle. The third key and most important is your posture. I wanna do a couple things here. Number one, I wanna put some weight back on this back leg and that will allow me to set my shoulders and my hips parallel with the slope. So you'll notice I'm sitting back. You want to feel like you can swing up this slope. The players that make mistakes here have bad posture. Their shoulders are level. That causes them to hit into the bank. Or they lift the club up rather than dragging the club back. We want to make sure that we take this club head away low and feel like we're swinging up the hill, up the slope, not into the slope. You swing into the slope, your ball's probably going to go a foot or two. Make sense, everybody? Yes. Awesome. Well, we're going to bring up John Chiavelli here to put this tip in action. John, welcome. Good. All right, John, so let's go through the setup together. Okay, number one, we want to make sure that the club face is slightly open, which looks pretty good to me. Okay, the ball position looks pretty good right there. Okay, then I want you to feel like your shoulders and hips are are sitting this way, yep. you're, so you're swinging up the hill, okay? Yep. You want to be a little bit aggressive, and we want to take the club away low. Mm -hmm. We don't want to lift the club up. Mm -hmm. We want to take it away low, swing up the hill, not into the hill. Okay. All right, I'm going to step back with this wonderful SAP team, John. When you're ready, let's see if we can get one up there. Well, look at this shot, everybody. Well, that is a great bunker yeah. shot from a very challenging lie. John, well done. I hope you learned something today. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome, John. Well, team, you ready to try to win a pair of foot joy shoes? Yeah. Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our foot joy contest features a very challenging bunker shot from an uphill line. John Chiavelli puts some backspin on this effort 
That is a great shot off of this lie. John Chiavelli. Bill Powell gets off the beach with ease. Look at this shot by Bill. Boy, that's a great shot from a very challenging lie. Well done, Bill. Great job. And Shapiro's bunker shot stops five feet, eight inches from the hole. And that is winning golf by Ann Shapiro. But Kathy Bird wins the shoes with this effort to four feet, nine inches. And look at this touch by Kathy. Winning golf, Kathy. Well, everyone, our FootJoy contest winners, Kathy Bird. All right. Yay! Yay! Kathy, congratulations. That was a very impressive bunker shot. Very few players get their ball to the pin from an uphill eye. You accomplished that goal, and now you'll get to take home a beautiful pair of FootJoy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Kathy, awesome. my question for you right now is this. Would you be interested in adding a spectacular golf getaway to those new FootJoy shoes? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. I love I wear them somewhere, you know? <laughs> I love your answer, and you may get that opportunity when winning golf returns. Just imagine if all the machines at work were constantly thinking, always on the lookout for patterns and connections to make everything work better. I call it the internet of everything, but it's really the internet of everyday life. The partnership between Dell Technologies and SAP helps make the promise of the internet of things a reality for our customers. We know how powerful live data can be. We use SAP at Dell to run everything from finance to procurement to travel expenses. And that's the same kind of live insight we can now start offering to all of our customers. And as we get better information, better insights, it can improve virtually every aspect of society and the economy. That's the opportunity of our generation, the next industrial revolution. That's why Dell Technologies runs live with SAP. This is FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. That's number one the world over. Number one with ladies, gents, lefties, and righties. Number one with challengers and champions, elite and up-and-comers, fan favorites and hometown heroes of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But even with all those number ones, what's most important is playing the number one shoe for you. And with more sizes and more styles for more swing profiles than all the other brands combined, that shoe is FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, Proforma. And by Bushnell Golf, the number one rangefinder in golf, Bushnell. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, umbrellas that make a statement, Haas Jordan. And the Orange Whip Trainer, you gotta feel it, the Orange Whip. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Golf Getaway Putt, sponsored by Harrison Group Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, SAP team, are you ready to putt for a spectacular golf getaway? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, here's the deal. Our terrific host, Rob Francis, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then select one golf ball from this Rexon bag. Now, that golf ball will tell us the distance of the putt. It could be 15, 20, or 25 feet, all makeable putts, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, if that player can roll in the putt, he or she will walk away with a three-day, two-night golf getaway for two to Ocean City, Maryland. How's that sound? Right. What a prize. Rob, it's game time. Who's our lucky contestant at White Manor? Oh, the excitement is building. My goodness, who is it going to be? I wish my name was in that hat. How about Ann Shapiro? Right. Ann Shapiro, come on up, Ann. Congratulations, Ann. Thank you. Now, if you'd kindly, without looking, pull one golf ball out of here. Look at that. Here we go. Uh, uh, hand it to me, please. All right, you can make 20 this. feet from Ocean City, Maryland, everybody. Well done, Ann. Let's go win a trip. Okay. Ann Shapiro is ready to go. If she can roll in this putt from 20 feet, Ann will win a first class three day, two night golf getaway for two to beautiful Ocean City, Maryland, courtesy of Harrison Group Golf. What an amazing prize. Let's see if she can do it. Beautiful setup, beautiful stroke. The speed looks good, the line looks good. It should break towards the hole, and here it comes. It's got a chance. Ann Shapiro with a great effort. Well, Ann, that was a great effort. You left it a couple inches from the hole, and you got it to the cup. That's what you want to do in a big prize putt like that. You didn't win the trip, but I still hope you had some fun. I had a great time. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, we didn't give away the golf getaway this week, but the exciting news is we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills 
with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor round. Our top two winners in the Survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 40-foot chip shot from the fairway. No problem for John Chiavelli. That's a nice touch by John, just below the hole. Well done, John. Good job. Rob Francis chips it to less than six feet away. Look at this speed. Rob Francis got a chance. Oh, right past the lip of the hole. Well done. Jeff Foy sets the mark to beat at four feet. Got the line. It should be just behind the cup. That's a beautiful touch by Jeff Foy. Marge Maslinski shows off her short game skills. This one's got a chance. Marge Maslinski. Oh, my goodness. Winning golf, Marge. But Bill Kilgore chips it beautifully to a foot and a half away to take the round. This touch by Bill Kilgore, a bump and run. Winning golf, Bill. Next up, a 30-yard pitch from the heavy rough. Ann Shapiro has a great touch on it. Ann Shapiro, boy, the speed looks terrific. Curling back towards the hole, and look at that touch by Ann. Larry Kumore pitches it to six feet away. Lob wedge, boy, look at this touch by Larry. That's trickling down towards the hole. And that's a great touch by Larry Kumore. Kathy Bird has no problem with this shot. Moving from right to left, and here it comes. And that's right behind the cup. And that's a great touch by Kathy Bird. Kathy, well done. Hey. Marge Mislinski continuing her fine play. Boy, look at this touch by Marge. This is going to nestle very close. And look at that effort, Marge. Well done. But the shot of the round belongs to Bill Powell. Boy, look at this shot by Bill. He's got the line. He's got the speed, Bill Powell. At two feet away, he takes the round. Round three is our putting contest, featuring this 35-footer that Marge Mislinski had a good read on. Moving from left to right. This one's got a chance, Marge Mislinski. Oh, just over the lip of the cup. Well done, Marge. John Chiavelli has a nice pendulum swing. Great line, great speed. John Chiavelli. Oh, what a stroke. Larry Kumar puts it with style. 35 feet. It's tracking. This one's got a chance. Oh, good effort, Larry Kumar. Well done. Bill Kilgore sets the distance at two and a half feet. Coming in the back door, Bill Kilgore. That's a nice touch, Bill. Jeff Foy. Jeff Foy moving from left to right. Just could hit the hole and go in. Jeff Foy. Oh, just left out. Bill Powell's putt looks good. Beautiful stroke. Moving from left to right. Boy, he's got the line. He's got the speed. And that is a few inches from the cup. But two golfers rolled it just right. Kathy Bird. Kathy Bird's got a chance. Kathy Bird drains it. Unbelievable. And Rob Francis. Moving from left to right, this one's got a chance. Rob Francis yeah. in the heart of the hole. Francis takes the round as well in a putt off. <laughs> now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I would like to share a drill with you that I promise will help your putting game. For this drill, you need two tees and one flat ball marker. What I do is I put the tees into the green a little wider than the width of my putter head. The ball marker I put on the green about a foot in front of my golf ball. So what does this drill do for you? Well, it does two things. Number one, it helps you with your path. By taking the club back and through, I will miss the tees. If I take my putter outside across or inside out, I will clip the tee. So it helps me with my path. Number two, it helps me with my alignment. If I can't hit a mark a foot in front of my starting point, then there's probably something wrong with my putter face. I'm not aligned squarely. So let's try the drill. I'm going to set my putter face down. My eye is on that ball marker. I want to miss a tease. I want to go over the ball marker with the right speed. I should have some success. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Well, I promise you one thing, you try this drill, you'll drop your putts per round. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our winning golf skills challenge survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this 20 yard chip from the rough. Larry Kumar leads the charge. An eight iron. And boy, look at this line. Will it roll down the crest? That's the question. Jeff Foy chips it well. Jeff Foy with a gap wedge. 
Got the speed, and it's a nice effort by Jeff. Well done, Jeff. Well, a nice day today, Jeff. And Shapiro edging her way into the final by a few inches. Beautiful stroke. Moving from left to right, and here it comes. And that is a great effort by Ann Shapiro. And Rob Francis plays some winning golf with this effort to just over six. Come back towards the cup, and here it comes. That's a nice touch by Rob Francis. Well, SAP host Rob Francis graciously gave his spot in the final to special customer Larry Kumor. So it'll be Shapiro and Kumor battling it out for this week's championship when winning golf brought to you by SAP continues. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent main lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? What? Buick now has an SUV for that. I did a lot of shopping in Italy. And I met a nice man. Ciao! An SUV for that. Hey, I thought you were choosing the flu. Everyone's doing flu. And even an SUV for that. Introducing three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. This is FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. That's number one the world over. Number one with ladies, gents, lefties, and righties. Number one with challengers and champions, elite and up-and-comers, fan favorites and hometown heroes of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But even with all those number ones, what's most important is playing the number one shoe for you. And with more sizes and more styles for more swing profiles than all the other brands combined, that shoe is FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Prizes and tea gifts for the winning golf skills challenge provided by Takea Water Bottles. Bring the heat, keep your cool with Takea. A-Head Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. A-Head, Pure Putters, Higher MOI plus adjustability. No other putter offers the performance and versatility of a Cure Putter. Red Arrow Markers, Mark, Aim, Align and Sync. Red Arrow. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. We are on the 17th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a slot in the Winning Golf Championship, and the chance to drive home with the keys to a brand new Buick Envision. Now the rules for the SAP Up and In Playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned, our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the SAP up and in playoff will be a 75 foot downhill putt from the French. Larry Kumar will have the honors. Larry carries an 18 handicap and plays most of his golf at the Union League, Tarsdale, Frankfurt. And Larry's had a great day. And here it comes, Larry Kumar. If he can get to the hill, it's gonna come down a little bit. And here it comes. This is a very challenging putt, but a lot of golf left. And now it's Ann Shapiro's turn to try and battle this challenging 17th green here at the beautiful White Manor Country Club. Ann has a 23 handicap and enjoys her golf at Yardley Country Club. Now Larry looks to be about 20 feet away, so Ann hopes to get inside of that one. Again, this is an up and in playoff, so we'll play it out from wherever the balls stop. And here comes Ann Shapiro, also getting to the crest, also coming down. They should turn towards the cup a little bit, and they both got about 20 feet left. So Larry Kumar has 20 feet down the hill. Nice setup and a nice roll. Boy, the speed looks great. This one's got a chance. Larry Kumar is in the heart of the hole. What an amazing two putt from 75 feet. And that is winning golf by Larry Kumar. Well, Ann Shapiro knows what she has to do. She's 19 feet away. Beautiful setup. This one's coming down the hill. The question is, will it have enough? It's coming up a little bit short, which means Larry Kumar is our winning golf champion here at White Manor Country Club. Well, Larry Kumar, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion here at the beautiful White Manor Country Club. And boy, Larry, you certainly handled the pressure when it counted. You two putt from 75 feet. You rolled in a 20-footer. Yeah, that's what great champions do. I hope you enjoyed your experience with winning golf. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the facility was great. 
the group we had was great. Uh, I think the whole winning golf experience is fantastic and have to really thank SAP for sponsoring the event. Well, thank you for your kind words. And Larry, you've got one big thing left to do today. I do. Yes, you do. Okay. You have the chance to win a brand new Buick Envision. You're going to putt from 60 feet. How's that sound to you? Sounds great. Let's go. Well, we're excited about this. And whatever you do, don't touch that remote because I've got a great feeling about this next putt. I think Larry's going to roll one in for a brand new Buick Envision when winning golf returns. This is how we get you close. By rebalancing the center of gravity to the location you needed most. Making your impact feel crisper and more consistent than ever before. This is how we get you closer. With three new wedge grinds shaped to fit your attack angle. Helping you get out of tough lies more easily. Introducing the all new, totally redesigned RTX 3 Wedge from Cleveland Golf. Get closer. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra offering the most V8 horsepower in its class. We are professional grade. It's time now on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Envision. Winning Golf is thankful to have the Buick GMC Tri-State dealers sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We're on the ninth green at White Manor Country Club. Our champion, Larry Kumar, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, he will drive home with the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Larry rolled in a 20-footer in our SAP up and in playoffs, so we know he can putt. Well, here it comes. He's playing it outside. It's going to break down a little bit. Here it comes. And that's a great effort by our champion, Larry Kumar. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the breathtaking White Manor Country Club. I would personally like to thank the White Manor staff and membership for their warm welcome and hospitality. Also, a special thanks to my wonderful SAP host, Rob Francis, and the entire SAP team for creating a very special memory today for all of us. And again, congratulations to our winning golf champion, Larry Kumar. Larry's victory today has won him a slot into the winning golf championship and a chance to compete for this year's unbelievable grand prize, a trip for four to Streamsong Resort. Well, thanks to all of you for watching Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. When you run live, you run simple with SAP. Learn more at SAP.com. Sticking one by the pin, I'm busting out a grin.